In this episode, we will talk about how an old dog can learn new tricks. Hi, my name is Rocco, aka Bitcoin's best friend. I was talking to a nice gentleman recently, and he told me a very interesting story. He recalled how back in the 70s, when he was in high school, he had the chance to take an introduction to computers class. They were still using punch cards back then. He vividly recalled thinking, computers are probably the wave of the future. Maybe I should take the class. But then he decided, no, it's not for me. Then later, when he was in college, he recalled passing by very well attended computer labs and thought to himself, maybe I should sign up for this. There's a lot of people getting on this bandwagon. But again, he decided, nope, it's not for me. The first time he used a computer was in the 80s when his golf club started recording members' handicaps on one. He figured, well, this would make record keeping easier. So even though he was hoping to get through life without ever using a computer, he went along with it. When the internet started its meteoric rise in the 90s, he pretty well ignored it too, until he found out it was possible to download the horse racing forum at home and he wouldn't have to drive the 10 miles to the nearest store that sold it. Never mind that he could bet online and not have to brave the winter weather driving the 40 miles to the track. The decades passed and computers and the internet melded into his life just like they did to everyone else's. He could barely send or receive an email, but he was strong and good with his hands and hard work earned him a decent middle class life. Now I'm happy to say that this is where the story takes a very interesting turn. I asked him at this point if he had heard of Bitcoin. Judging by how late he was to the party with all the other world-changing inventions he had seen, I fully expected him to say, no, what is that? Instead, he quickly responded by saying, of course, I'm a whole coiner. I was pleasantly surprised. And considering that of the 8 billion people on the planet, there are only about a million who own a whole Bitcoin, I was also very impressed. Please tell me, what sparked your interest in Bitcoin? I asked. He said, probably YouTube videos. It was a combination of Michael Saylor and Jeff Booth and Greg Foss and Max Kaiser and Matthew Crater that got me fascinated. And when I found out that Bitcoin's rate of adoption is on a faster trajectory than the internet had, I knew I couldn't let the opportunity pass me by. I was hesitant at first because holding Bitcoin in self-custody seemed difficult. But when the spot Bitcoin ETF came out in Canada in 2021, I purchased some shares into my retirement savings account. It wasn't long before I took the plunge and I learned how to buy Bitcoin and hold the keys on a cold storage wallet as well. So you see, Rocco, you can teach an old dog new tricks. I laughed and I congratulated him on his foresight and I asked him, like I'm asking you, to please follow my YouTube channel as I go down the path of Bitcoin discovery. And what do you think? Is it Bitcoin's time? How long will it be before there are another million people that own a whole Bitcoin? Please comment below. Please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. And always remember that just like a talking dog, Bitcoin is a miracle. <laughs>